Last summer we introduced 36 Otago skinks and 35 Grand skinks into Moko Moko Sanctuary but since then, although we've been seeing lots of Grand skinks, we haven't been seeing many Otagos. So we've put together a team from DOT Wildlands Consultants and some volunteers to go out to the reserve and have a really thorough search. This habitat is fantastic for skinks, it's, there's so many places for them, it's real prime real estate so they can pick the spots they want. There's also lots of vegetation for them to hide in, um, which makes our job harder of course. In here, they're, they're probably not too used to people at all, which is a really good thing. They're very, very skittish, which means as soon as they sight us or perhaps they sense a vibration, they're in. So if we don't get eyes on a particular spot, then we won't know a skink's there. So both the Grand and Otago skinks have distinctive patterning, particularly around their necks and their heads. So what we're doing when we survey is we're taking photos of both their left and right sides and then using that to match up our photos so that we can see, identify individuals. We work on 20% um, detectability for Otagos, so just doing the numbers, we think seven's a good hit. Um. After two days of surveying, we've found 13 Grand Skinks and 15 Otago Skinks, which is a great result and gives us a lot of confidence that both species will be thriving in the reserve. <laughs>